Over here we have an R3000. So this printer is a little bit different from the other two videos that if you have seen the other ones in the past. We have used this type of screwdriver. So it's this one. Slightly bigger than the other one I used earlier in the other videos. So the way that we open this one, we need to open it from the back. As you can see, there's five places. One over here, 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 and here. So there's five screws that we need to remove. After all the screws are removed, pull the bottom piece out, like such. That's the first step. The second step, you remove the one on the side over here. And then you remove the other side over here. It just slides right out. After all the panels are removed, there's another two screws. There's one over here on this side. And there's one on this side, so let's remove them first. After those screws are removed, just remove these panels over here. It, pull, it pulls right out. And do the same for the other side. When those two panels are removed, you need to remove a screw right over here and one on top over here and you need to do the same for both sides on the other side also that's one screw and this is the second screw so you need to do the same for the other side as you can see Now we're going back to the front of the printer. So to easily remove it, open up the back flap over here, open up the lid, and then you just stick your hand right over here, this area, and then you just yank it out. And there you go, there's the printer. So this is where the print head is. So let's zoom into it. As you can see, there's a little screw right over here. We're gonna remove that screw. At this angle, the screw is removed right now. So this lid should come right off. It's removed. So, over here, there are several screws that you must remove. One, two, three and four right after that there are a couple of cables I need to remove there's one over here 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 and here but prior to removing the cables just remove this piece of metal over here so it's loose, and now you can remove them. You just pull them right out. Come off easily like that. Now you can just place this on the side over here. Right now, this is a zoom in of where the print head's supposed to be. So this, we need to remove two more screws. One over here, and one over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove them right now. Uh, 
after the screws are pulled out, you can just pull the whole thing out along with this piece of metal over here from earlier. Okay, be careful. You might get ink on yourself while you're doing this process. Okay, you see that where the inks are? In this part, the three screws, there's one over here, here, and there's one right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove them right now. After the screws are removed, just pull it out. Be careful, do not get the ink on your hands. Pull it out. And there is um, this ribbon over here. You just unplug it. And that's it. And like I said, be careful. I just got ink on my hand again. So, uh, make sure to tape this area over here. Right over here. As you can see, just put some tape on this area right over here. Make sure you don't get any ink on that area. Right after that's done, this is complete.